The Hyundai Kona Electric has plenty of space under the bonnet there, but frustratingly they didn't put any storage area there to put your stuff. So in this video I'm going to show you how to make a do-it-yourself front boot, otherwise known as a fruit. So in under the bonnet here, we've got plenty of space. So there's, a, there's a lot of open space here is what everybody says when they open a Kona. Uh, but there's no storage space. So what we can do is we can take off this cover here and we get even more space. This here is the, the charger, the AC charger. So when you're plugged in charging, this will get hot. So you need to make sure you don't put anything too low over top of that. So we're going to make something to, to use these little lugs here. Okay, so the first thing to do with these 3D printed parts is if they haven't been cleaned up, you just need to get a file in there and, and clean up around inside. They get burrs and so on, a bit hard to use. Then you uh, grab your cover and take these rubber bits out. So this one is one of the big ones. Big rubbers go in the short 3D printed bracket things. Now that has just broken piece off the side. They're pretty tight fit, I've found. But still, I think that's okay. And so then you, you try it by Pushing it on under the car, under the bonnet. That just sits on there nicely. So these 3D printed brackets, they're made for the bar to go in the top there. They're made for a 25mm by 2mm bar. Now I couldn't get 2mm bar. I'm not sure if you can or not in Australia. You can get 1mm bar. It's too, too thin, too wobbly. You can get 3mm bar, which would be perfect, but it doesn't fit. Uh, I actually found some 1.6mm bar, still too wobbly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I found this angle bar. So this will, even though it's thinner, it's 1.6mm, it won't bend because it's got this angle in it. But to get it in the top there, what I'm going to have to do is chop off a section at the end of each one. I've inserted the rubbers in these things now, so we'll just pop them on there. And then I've got my stunt bit of bar which doesn't fit, but it's good for demonstration purposes. Ah, now I've put these on the wrong spot. So those two are the same size, but one of these is taller than the others. You put the taller one on the lower thing. Now our bar is going to sit in there like that. You could put it that way, but my tub doesn't fit in well. There, it, it, the, the bars will be out the side of the tub. So I'm going to do them this way here. So I'll need to measure how long it is. Here we are. I've cut my two pieces of aluminium. I just cut them with a hacksaw. That's a hacksaw uh, in, in a bench vise. And I cleaned them up a little bit with a file, like so. They don't need to be very tidy, they're in under, underneath things. So we've got a, a slightly longer one and a shorter one. Because I'm using this angle, I've decided to put the angle on the inside of this one. If it goes on the other side, then it just touches on that bit there. So put it on the inside and I don't have to touch it. These ended up to be 30, it's a 348 mils, that one, millimetres. This one is 300 millimetres. If you can get a bar that fits in these, either by having a 2 millimetre bar or getting these made up to, to 3 millimetres holes, then all you need to do is, is go to a shop and get them to cut that bar to those measurements for you. But because I'm cutting this angle out of here, I've done it myself. So that slots into there, and I need to take that off to put that in there. So 
and with this one. They insert in there by 20 mils, by the way. Now, I could put screws in the top of these. Each one of these has a hole in the top to, to put a screw in. I don't think I need to. I think that's, that's fine in there. We'll see how I go. I can if I want to. Next thing to do is to put the tub in. Now I found there's a couple of spots to watch out for. So the, the brake fluid here, just make sure that you can get out that. And this battery cover back here, you can see it unclips like that. So just make sure it doesn't get in the way of either of those things. So sitting in there, something straight like that looks like it'll do. What I want to do is I want to put screws in from the base into the aluminium. I'm just going to use self self drilling screws, which will hold it onto the aluminium there. But because this isn't clear, I need to, to make some way of seeing where to put my screws. So I'll see if this works. I've got some blue tack here. I put a screw, two screws in each. I want them in the centre of the aluminium bar. And I'm betting that this blue tack will stick to the plastic rather than the aluminium. So when we put that, press that down on there, then hopefully it'll stick on there. See how it works. Again, two of them work. Now let's do those two. self drilling screws Okay, here we are, the parts you need and the prices I paid. So the first one is this aluminium. Now I got it from Ulrich Aluminium. What I got was 25 by 25.1.6 angle aluminium. You can get steel as well. And I paid $8.29 for a three meter length and I've used less than one meter. Next one is these 3D printed parts here. Now I'll post the, the link in the, the show notes in the, the comments there uh, as to where you can get the file for these. So I didn't make the file. It's there available for anybody to use. If you have a 3D printer, you can print your own. 
Uh, if you know somebody with it, then you can do it. I got it somebody to do it for me, and he, he charged a nominal $20 for it. Next one is the tub, which I got from Bunnings. There are several different uh, colours available. And you can see that I paid $18.90 for that. Now the screws that I use to put in there are just little self-drilling screws to go into aluminium. So all up I paid a just under fifty dollars for the for the lot. Uh, now I've got a fruit. I'll be able to drive off and have all my charging cables in under there. See ya.